previously on Raven Willow Farmstead. So we knew the property was in bad shape, but we didn't know it would be this bad. Into the jungle. We must go. So upon exploring the woods, we found more junk. So we called a friend and decided to bring in the big guns. First tree. Mm. Look at that proud look on his face. I'm making dinner, some pasta with ground beef and our own homegrown onions. The cats are in here, and the dogs. All safe. Well, Rob's out there chainsawing away. Trying to widen our driveway so they can actually bring the um, excavators in. Much to my embarrassment, this is actually the first time I've ever used a chainsaw. I bought it on a deal years ago and just never had the confidence to actually try it out. But now I didn't have a choice. I had a lot of trees to move and a lot of space to, uh, to make for the excavator and other things that needed access to our property. We were told we needed to widen this driveway to a minimum of 60 feet, which meant we also had to put in the brand new culvert and replace the broken concrete one that was in there at the moment. I made a log sled <laughs> out of an old wash basket. I'm hauling up all the logs using that. And then Rob found this in the forest. Because you're not going to want to see this. Is it a black widow? No. This thing's like half tarantula. Oh gosh, no way. So getting there we experienced a lot of rain and with rain and a lot of standing water are mosquitoes. So Caitlin decided she was going to get herself a jacket that would help protect her against mosquitoes and the other bugs. But unfortunately it wouldn't protect her from this. My new <laughs> So this was an interesting find. A pile of rocks that went on for almost a kilometer. I had no idea what this was, whether it went way back to like ancient times when Vikings were, were trying to settle on these lands or, or what. But really, it's just farmers. Farmers would pile these rocks to designate a border between two pieces of land and we found them on either side of our property. By the time, we had no idea what we had just discovered. That's pretty cool. That's giant. It's definitely dead, hey? Yeah. I think it's like a hardwood, so it holds together. <laughs> he taps it, the whole thing falls over. <laughs> We were so happy to be here and finally uh, settled in, but we were also really nervous about just, you know, the process of what was to come and a little bit of nerves starting my new job. Just all of our basic necessities, like sourcing a porta potty to have delivered at the property 
and accessing a shower at the local campground. They were very nice there to let us do that. As well as our drinking water we got from the local spring. And while things were a little stressful initially, we came into this with the attitude of let's find out and let's figure it out. And so we did. It's our first time using the new grill. It's the next grill with the little side burner. Looks good. Our Greek potatoes and Greek marinated chicken and some peppers. One afternoon, we decided to take a break from clearing trees and go and explore the property line. Well, we found what looks like the hay field from Google Maps, but it's actually beans that have just gone to seed or whatever, like they just, no one harvested them. Our property line is over by that tree line. What, honey? <laughs> He's dumbfounded because all the way down to the very back of the field, that is how far back our property goes too. <laughs> I thought this was big. Yeah. It was at this moment I realized I was a little in over my head. Get bushwhacking. <laughs> Do you realize how far back that is? It's really far. It's a kilometer, remember? We measured. Well, on Google Earth. 50 acres mm -hmm. of field. And 50 acres of trees right next to it is ours. What's that? What is that? Oh, I don't know. You need to get one of those books to identify wild fruits. I'm trying to find the creek. To put it simply, I was a little gobsmacked. It's one thing to look at 50 acres on a map or on GONB or, or whatever, but to see it in person, it was just massive. And my plan was to turn all of this into pasture. I got a lot of work to do. After walking all that way down here, it's probably like three quarters of the way found this line that is filled with water, which I think is what the creek is on the map online. And there is water in it. Oh! <laughs> comes from that upper watershed uh, up that way. And drains through into our property as well through the tree line. excited to see. What is that? Oh, that's what's going to take down those trees. Cavalry has arrived. They're going to come in, clear out these trees at the front, and then they're going to proceed to uh, scrub this whole area, get rid of all this junk, and level it all out, do some grading, get rid of all the junk that's in the forest over there that people have been dumping, and just make it nice and clean. <laughs> so it begins. He's gonna take down these trees tonight? No. Oh. He's just parking it. Yeah. He's just parking it, okay. I got excited. <laughs> <laughs> there he comes. 
What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you think, Fan? What is that? Loki doesn't even care. Loki, look! Look, what is that? <laughs>